Welcome to Miami. This is a big event city, and folks here are fired up for this one inside Hard Rock Stadium as the Miami Hurricanes try to represent the great tradition of their program. And a rivalry like this is what makes college football great. Yeah, the tradition and the history, but right here, right now, there's great intensity. This is why these guys came to these schools to play in games like this. As we'll see the number 11 team in the country, the Florida State Seminoles. Taking on the 23rd ranked team, the Miami Hurricanes. 3A Sports College Football. I'm Chris Fowler here in the booth with Kirk Herbstreit. I think we've talked long enough, Kirk. Let's get this game going. The Canes will kick this away to start us off. And it's fielded. Returner trying to create a big play here. To be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. Florida State's offense comes on the field first today. Here we go, Kirk. All the emotion in this stadium. Which side is going to handle that better today? Chris, we had a chance to visit both these teams. One of the things that we saw, the clocks ticking down all year for this game, this day. Now they get their chance. And he's tackled for a loss after the catch. The defense all over that one. This is a great job of being prepared by this defense. Almost anticipating this play, they're in position to bring him down for a loss. We got some ground to make up. Second and long for the 15. Takes the handoff. It's Toa Fili. The senior able to make the stop after a short game. Well, Kirk, no surprise. You get these two teams on the field, and it's tight and competitive right to the finish. Well, Chris, the last time these two teams met, remember, it came down to the wire the very final few minutes. Sure hope we get another one like that today. So on the opening drive, they're backed up here now, third and nine. Dropping back, looking to throw for the first down. And it's just flat dropped on third down. What a big mistake. Now this offense facing a fourth down call. Gosh, Chris, I just love this atmosphere. The home field advantage on full display. The defense flying around with energy. Nice job there on that third down and using the energy from the crowd to make that stop. No kick it away here. No call for the fair catch here. So the Hurricanes offense takes the field. Our first chance to see them today. If there's one guy on this defensive side, Kirk, who can be a game wrecker, it's this elite pass rusher, very much on the quarterback's mind today. Yeah, Chris, but it's going to be very tough. This quarterback does a nice job of moving around in the pocket, and also, he's going to have an awareness of it. Caught way downfield for a huge game. Touchdown, Miami. This quarterback on fire today. Chris, as you know, anytime you hit a big post route like this for a touchdown, the timing between the quarterback and the receiver is essential. Nice job of not waiting too long. The quarterback takes a hitch, gets the ball out early, and allows his receiver to run underneath the beautifully thrown football for the touchdown. So they'll try to add to the lead now with a PAT. PAT is good, so it's 7 0. Kickoff team is on the field. Let's see if they give the returner a chance to bring this one back. And he takes this from inside the five. And they stop him at the 23. That's solid coverage. And the Florida State offense heads back onto the field. They're coming off a quick three and out. So looking to put something together on this drive with a little more urgency. Stopped short of the marker after just a short game. You know, in the era that we live in right now, everybody wants to spread the field around, try to create space, try to create one-on-one -on -one matchups. And the defense has countered over the years by trying to play out wide. Here's a great example of a defense has the ability to play wide, but still be solid at the line of scrimmage and not give up big run plays. Looking to throw into Iangalale. 
Off target with the throw, incomplete. Well, Kirk, you played in plenty of rivalry games. How do they feel different from the others? Well, Chris, rivalry games, and, and depending on who the coach is, this is a game you think about all year. You know, you're working out in the weight room. You're doing drills in summer two-a-days. Everything is focused on getting to this game and playing your very best. Drops back, needing a third down completion here. Makes the catch. It's Lee. Brought down at the 33. That's good enough to move the sticks. What a clutch play here by this offense to convert on third down. I know it's still early in this game, but the fact that they've dug themselves a hole to convert there and keep this drive alive, they got a new set of downs and a chance to dig into this lead. The Seminoles come to the line to start a fresh set of downs. Trying to flex the ground game here. Running back takes the handoff. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Well, there's that excellent linebacker with a clear path just running downhill quickly. You know, I think one of the great things about watching this guy play all year is his vision. He just has great instincts. That time, the defensive line ate up all the linemen, freed up the linebacker to get into the backfield, and the result is a tackle for a loss for the backer. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Things just appear to be a bit out of sync from the get-go now. Give credit to the front seven of that defense for staying in the proper lanes and getting to the ball carrier, not let him dance around and make something out of nothing. Tough spot. The offense has to convert the third and long from the 30 to get this drive going. There's the snap, and he's looking to throw. The pass rush closing in. And he decides to just throw it away. That's going to bring up fourth down now. Well, they go to the air to try to pick up this first down, but it just wasn't meant to be. Defense was ready, made sure to force them into this fourth down situation. And the Knowles will bring their punt team on the field now. He's going to kick it away for the second time. And the return man decides to signal fair catch. And the Hurricanes offense retakes the field. Last time out, a one-play touchdown drive through the air. Can they keep it going here? Hands off to the left. It's a two-yard game. Second and eight for now. Defense does a really nice job here of being able to contain that run game, helping just get two yards. Chris, to me, this changes the playbook a little bit now for the offense. The guy calling the plays at second and eight, that's a different deal. Now he's got to probably think about going through the air instead of staying on the ground. Trying to find some room. It's Martinez. That's a nice tackle there by the senior. Offense will try to convert a third and long from the 27. We'll see if the defense brings the blitz. And here's the handoff. And the defense smothers him for no gain. Well, the defensive line does their job eating up those double teams, freeing up the backers to make the play. The Canes bring their Number punt team onto the field. In punt formation to kick it away. He's got some daylight turning on the Number speed. And the returner will be brought down. And here comes the Florida State offense on the field. The reverse to punt last time. Can they get this offense going finally? Get some points out of this possession. Only a small game. Now looking at second and nine. For the defense coordinator this week, all week telling us about gap integrity, not giving this running back any creases at all. Really sound defense on that play. Now it's second down here. Back to throw. It's Uyangalale. From the pocket, delivers over the middle. They stop him, but it's a first down. Chris, that's a great example of his arm strength. He just fired the ball in there much quicker than the defense could even react. This line getting set up. It's a first down play. Caught quickly. He picks up nine, so just short of the first down, second and one. Love to see the short passing game as a great go-to for any offensive coordinator in the first quarter because 
it's reliable and allows you to see how the defense is reacting. That can open up for other things later on. Second down after that run on the previous play. And the why not goes in motion. It's a shotgun run call. The Knowles keep the football on the move. Good push up front and great acceleration by this back. I tell you, he's doing a pretty good impression right now of a combination of greats that they've had at Florida State. Guys like Warwick Dunn and Devontae Freeman and more recently with guys like Cam Akers and Dalvin Cook. And the Seminoles churn out another first down. Play action here on first down. Quick throw to his receiver. It's complete. What a grab near the sideline. Heads out of bounds after a solid gain, more than enough to pick up a first down. Well, this is a beautiful play when the timing is right, as we see right here. The receiver's got to do a good job of working his way back to the football as the quarterback is throwing it. The timing here is impeccable. Using his legs, it's Williams. Just love watching this back run. Gets behind that offensive line, lowers his pads, and gets a nice, solid game. Offense getting set. Second down play here. Kirk as we take a break for the quarter here. It's Miami in front. Let's check out the stats now through the opening period. They've flipped ends of the field. We're ready now for the second period. So here comes second down now. Every play important down here in the red zone. To throw, it's Wiangala Lake. They got him. Defense comes up with a sack. Well, the defense would not be denied on this play. They come up with a sack. Quarterback really didn't have much of a chance at all. Lucky he just held on to the ball. Seventh play of the drive coming up, but it is third down and long. Dropping back, we're going to throw for the first down. He's got it right near the end zone. And he will score! Touchdown, Seminoles! Oh, just outstanding execution here by this offense. The offensive line gives the quarterback time, and the quarterback's anticipation was on point. Puts that ball right in the money. The receiver, all he had to do was turn and catch the ball for that touchdown. And they'll set up now for the extra point drop. And he knocks it right through. Here's the kickoff team. Let's see if they give the returner an opportunity to bring this back. Fields it just outside the goal line. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. And the Miami offense is back on the field. They were held to a quick three and out last time. Looking to put together a positive drive here. Grab down the middle. It's George. And uses his speed to pick up solid yardage. Quarterback sees that this defense is dropping way back in zone coverage. So he does the right thing. Gets it underneath to that track route and picks up the first down. Pass complete for a first down. The offense gets a fresh set of downs. Looking for some space. It's Martinez. That's a nice wrap up there by the junior. See, that's how you limit what an offense wants to do. This time, the defense just won the battle up front at the line of scrimmage, not giving up any big plays. Everybody's gap sound. And it's really solid defense on that play. Getting set. Here's second down. And the ball is handed off out of the shotgun. Got the first down, now looking for more. 
That's a big gain before he goes out of bounds. It'll move the sticks more than enough for a first down. Boy, this back is running very well today and living up to so many great backs that they've had over the years at Miami. Edron James and Frank Gore and Willis McGahee and Clinton Portis. All those guys won a lot of games and ran the ball well. And right now, they got to be loving what they're seeing from this back. Catch made on the right side. That's a big gain. They get him down, but not before he gets to the plus 38. Boy, nice throw and a great catch here by this Miami Hurricane wide receiver. For our younger audience out there who might be watching this game, I got to tell you, you may not remember this, but Miami set the tone for wide receiver play for decades, and they're working their way to get back to that now. Going with the old counter run here. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. When they tried to get the counter play to the edge, Kirk. We've seen this defense show their ability to pursue and fly to the football. Yeah, they sure can. And they did a nice job on this counter play. A lot of times you'll see those counters go more up into the middle of a defense. But they tried to bounce that to the outside. And that gave you an idea of what kind of speed this defense has. Out of the shotgun, he hands it off. And that run produces a decent game. It's not a huge game here, but if you add up multiple runs like that throughout the course of a game, by the fourth quarter, you're going to start to see that affect the defense. Offense been in reverse here. Now a long way to go to convert this third down. Looking to pass. It's Ward. Fires it to the wideout. Finds a man open on the right side downfield. They bring him down, but the veteran quarterback shows off that trademark arm strength. That's good execution of the pitch and catch to pick up the first down there. Nice conversion. A really nice conversion here. To me, the route is what separated this play. And the fact that he's able to get to this point downfield, and by the time he turned around, that ball is on him. So nice route and nice hands there to be able to pick up the first down. Defense getting set. It's second down. Quick throw. That's an RPO caught on the left side. And they get him down after the completion. Anytime you have a chance to get this wide receiver isolated, to get the ball in his hands, you do it. And the Canes are in the red zone. They'll run it here. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Well, it seemed like the offense is trying to throw some kind of misdirection with that run there. But give credit to the defense. They were prepared for anything, and they swallowed that running back up. Nice defensive stand. So now on comes the field goal unit. Kick is good. Gives the offense three points to show for that drive. Snap, hold the kick, everything there perfect to put three points up here for the offense. Following the field goal, the kickoff team is out there now. Fields it inside the five-yard line. It'll be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. And the Seminoles offense comes back on the field. They reached the end zone the last time out, trying to do the same thing here. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Chris, I think we all kind of get caught up in third down. What, what is an offense doing on third down? But I think what's also important is how well you defend first down. If you can hold your opponents to a short gain or a tackle for a loss, you throw the offense out of whack, and their game plan gets much more challenging to try to come up with that first down. Let's it go quickly. He's a wide-open receiver, complete. They bring him down, but he reaches the 30-yard line. 
You know, we talked this week with the offensive coordinator about what makes this receiver so special. He kept referring to his route running. Here's an example of that. Great route, enough separation to give the quarterback a nice lane to throw the football. So it's a first down here. The clock has stopped temporarily, but they'll get to the line quickly. Looking to throw. It's Uyangala Light. And the pass is incomplete. Oh, man. For him to be that wide open and drop it. Sometimes you just have too much time in your hands. You end up thinking way too much. It's your hands a little shaky. Important second down play coming up. And he'll set up to throw. Short connection to the tight end here. They're finally able to stop, and the quarterback brings the big man down. Not easy to do with that size difference. And here the tight end shows off his hands for a nice game. Love to see the big man get his touches. They get to the line in a hurry here for this third down. Looking to throw again. The sure hands. It's Williams. The defense stops him just short of the marker. That'll bring up fourth down. Now the timeout is called by the defense. They've got some things to work out here. And at fourth down, they'll punt it away here. And the returner brought down by that coverage team. First down play call coming up. How aggressive will it be? Look him out throwing here to start the drive. But they don't make the connection. That one is incomplete. Well, Chris, as you know, any more in college football, these tight ends are essentially wide receivers. They move them all over the place and try to find a good matchup. And they had one. They're just unable to complete the pass. Offense lines up for a second down play off the incompletion. Here's the snap. Looking to throw here. Pressured and dropped back at the eight-yard line. And a timeout is called important stage late here in the second quarter. Good pressure here by this defense, but it felt like the quarterback held on to the ball a little bit too long to come up with that sack for the D. Here's the handoff. Defense stops him short of the marker, so now it's fourth down. And the defense will spend their second timeout here to make some adjustments. The Hurricanes will bring their punt team onto the field. And he'll kick it away now for the second time. Running it back, it's Douglas. And the returner brought down by the coverage team. And the Florida State offense heads back onto the field. Well, it's been an entertaining first half. Not much time remaining to cut into this lead. Receiver makes the catch. And a quick timeout call by the offense after the play. It's really good timing here between the quarterback and the receiver. And how about the receiver downfield? Does a nice job of finding that open space in the zone of the defense. And as a defense, you're just basically throwing your hands up in the air because they had that covered relatively well. Just a good play call and good execution. Drive stays alive with that completion for a first down. To the air. It's Uyangala Lake. Couldn't find anybody open. He just has to throw it away. Well, the quarterback did it about everything he could here to wait for that play to develop. And there was just nobody open. It's great coverage downfield. And instead of taking a sack or potentially throwing the pick, he just gets rid of it. So with just seconds left before halftime, out comes the field goal unit. They'll try to tie things up at the break. Right down the middle. And that will tie the score as halftime approaches. I was watching this guy in pregame. He has got a strong leg. Not surprised here he's able to put three points up here for the offense.
So here's the kickoff now. Offense settling for three, tacking on a little bit of momentum before the halftime break. And he'll bring it out from inside the ten. The coverage team brings him down on the final play of this first half. Minnesota's going to wrap up the first half here. Let's kick it down to Kevin Connors with our halftime update. Guys, between the coaches who have matched wits in this game and the players and the unforgettable moments, Miami, Florida State is must-see TV, and today is no different. And a really competitive game so far. I'm talking razor-thin margins in the big statistical categories. And while it may be a broken record, turnovers are the name of the game. The team that limits them, the ones that win that turnover margin, generally speaking, are the ones that have the best chance to get that done. With that, let's throw it back to the guys to see how this rivalry matchup plays out. The Seminoles will kick it deep to begin the second half. Returner looking to make a play here. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. And here comes the Miami offense back out onto the field. First play of the third quarter is a handoff. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. And they don't block the defensive end who shows some quickness, Kirk, getting around the edge that time. Yeah, this guy's usually getting around the edge to put pressure on the quarterback, but he reminds everybody here that this guy's a complete package. Not only can he pressure the quarterback, but also he is very, very talented and shows you the physicality he has against the run as well. He hands it off from the gun. Christian, the spread error over the years has always grown offensively, but I've been always impressed with defenses that really build their defense to play in space still have an ability to be sound at the line of scrimmage and defend a running game. It's exactly what we saw right there. Well, it's been tough so far to get this drive going. Now they face third and 10 from inside their own 20. What's the call going to be? Oh, just gives up on the play, throws it away. And now yeah. it's fourth down. fourth down. Well, he just threw it away here, Chris, and it's not the worst decision. You'd wish he'd find a guy open to give him a chance for this offense to convert, but at least they have some room now to work if they want to bring the punter out. The Hurricanes will bring their punt team out of the field. He's got an opening. Watch out. He's got great speed. The coverage team able to bring the returner to the ground. And here comes the Florida State offense on the field. This one has been a defensive stalemate. Let's see if the offense can get something going here. Now begin with a quick throw to the left. Refusing to be brought down before gaining first down yardage. But good job with the offensive line giving his quarterback time to throw. And you can see the damage he can do to you when he does have time. A great throw and something you just kind of expect in Tallahassee. A quarterback that can make throws like this. First and 10 play coming up. To throw, it's Riangala like. Receiver looks it in, it's complete. Defense shoves it out of bounds, not much of a game there. Chris, the more we watch these spread offenses attack in today's game, it's not just about the vertical shots with the taller receivers on the outside. Defenses are challenged even more by those smaller slot receivers and their quickness in space. Kibi decides to keep it here. A sophomore with a strong tackle there. Well, not exactly the outcome this offense was hoping for here on the option. They didn't lose any yards, which is great. I think they're definitely looking for more from that play. They're backed up here, trying to make something happen on third and long. Dropping back. They're going to throw for the first down. Looking for the wide out. He makes the grab. Takes the football inside the 30, and that's a first down. And the Knowles pick up enough yardage for a fresh set of downs. On first and 10, looking to throw. He's got a man down the middle. Brought down quickly at the 14, but the offense is in the red zone. Well, you could tell the quarterback knew exactly what he wanted to do with the football. He was going to that end route no matter what. He hits it for a nice game. The Knowles will have first and ten here.
He'll hand it off. The game is two yards, so it's second and eight. off to the back and just a short gain this time we're able to get him down an important third down conversion coming here in the red zone dropping back into Iangalale looking for six Touchdown, Florida State. He'll take the lead in the second half. Kirk, you play quarterback. How about appreciating a receiver that runs his routes that precisely? Chris, it's not just his route running. It's the chemistry between the quarterback and the receiver that really, I think, is unique. They put so much time into this in the offseason. By the time they get to Saturdays, you can close your eyes and make your throw. That's exactly what we saw right there. So they'll try to add to the lead now to the PAT. PAT puts him in front by seven. Kickoff team on the field getting set now. And here's the return from inside the five. Solid job by the coverage team. They bring it down at the 16. And the Hurricanes offense, he takes the field. Last time was a quick three and out. Can they get a drive going this time? And they'll run it out of the shotgun. No way to run up the middle. Chris, I'll be really honest with you. I don't know why they continue to try to run the football. I'm all about balance. I'm all about trying to make sure a defense has to defend the run and the throw. But at this point in the game, they haven't been able to run the ball. They're going to have to go through the air if they're going to come back and take the lead in this game at some point. They'll hand it off. Gets the first and still running. They bring it down, but he reaches the 30-yard line. Ooh, how about that offensive line? That's just getting a hat on a hat, opening just enough room for the back to be able to get through there for a big game. The offense will set up on first and ten. The offense with some pre-snap motion. Off the play fake on first down. He'll take a deep shot. The deep shot is caught for a big game. What a pitch and catch by the quarterback and receiver for a big game for this offense. Another chunk play. This offense is really clicking. Off the play fake. Looking to throw the football. And that pass ball is incomplete. You know, this is the one thing I love about this running back is his ability to get involved in the pass game. Runs a great route, just doesn't come down with a catch. So after the incompletion, it's second down. Scanning the field, it's Ward. Fires it to the wide out. Easy throw to a wide open receiver downfield. They tackle him at the three, but that's a great gain on the pitch and catch. That is great arm strength and accuracy by this quarterback. And let's not forget the wide receiver's job of bringing it in for that big game. The Cades hoping to punch it in here. They have first and goal. First and goal, they'll try to run it in. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Boy, it is tough to run the football inside this five-yard line. Give all the credit to that defensive line. 
eating up those linemen, allowing the rest of the defense to fly to the football for that short loss. Ball moved back to the four for second and goal. From inside deals now from the shotgun. Now uh, they test the middle of the defense, but get nothing. It's a nice play by this defense, and now you're thinking about third down and goal from around the five-yard line. you got a real shot to come up with a stop here. Whether they run it or throw it, you get a stop here, and maybe you hold them to three points. Now a crucial third down and goal. Quarterback drops back. We're going to test the secondary. He's got it near the end zone. And he's in. Touchdown, Hurricane. Now here comes the point after attempt. He knocks through the PAT and ties the score here in the third period. Kickoff team has come on the field now to send this one away. He'll return it from inside the five. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. Offense coming to the line. They might have a chance for a couple more plays before it reaches the end of the quarter. Handoff here from the shotgun. Defense stops him short of the first down marker, and that'll do it for the third quarter of play. Heck of a ride through a very competitive first three quarters if you check out some of the stats here. See how this one unfolds in the final quarter. Set to get underway. Here's the second down play. Looking downfield, it's Yangalalai. Oh, and it's almost picked off. A change for their first interception today. Going to set up third down. Pretty nice catch here, but a missed opportunity for an interception. Let's face it, a lot of these defenders, they've got it all. Speed, athleticism, and hands. Sometimes a little questionable, as we saw here. On third down, he drops to throw. Caught over the middle. It's Douglas. They bring him down, but the drive has now reached the 35. Well, the quarterback has just too much time against this zone. There's not enough pressure. It's allowing him to sit back and pick apart this zone defense. And the Seminoles will line up on first and ten. There's the snap. They'll set up to throw. Grab down the middle. It's Douglas. Receiver brought down after a short pitch and catch. The slant is a great way to get the ball to your receiver against man coverage, especially if you feel like you've got an advantage on the matchup. Easy throw and completion for the quarterback and receiver. That completion sets up a second down play. Back to throw again. Oh, downfield catch made on the left side. And the stop is made, but not before a huge gain moves the ball to the 32. The defense is spread all over the field, creating some one-on-one -on -one matchups, and a quarterback makes them pay for it. The Seminoles looking to keep this drive rolling. Looking to throw it on first down. But they can't make the connection. Ball's incomplete. Everything about this play tells you about today's offenses and what they're asking out of their running backs. You can't just be a guy who runs the football anymore. You have to be able to catch it as well. And he didn't do a very good job of it on this play. So second down after the incompletion. Looking downfield, it's Uyangalalai. 
Sideline catch Bay, but out of bounds short of the first half. Heads out of bounds as a short gain on the play. One thing I love about this bat is how he gets involved in the passing game. He's catching. So the offense faces third and short from the plus 26. Might be four down territory, but let's see what the call is here. And the quarterback looking to make a play through the air. It's an out route, the catch made. They make the stop just short of the mark, which is going to be fourth down and inches. Well, a quick short throw here, not able to convert for the first down. You'd love to see that route maybe a little bit deeper to give yourself a better chance. But they come up a little bit short. So now it's decision-making time for the coach. I'd be shocked if they didn't go for it. And he knocks that one right through. And that puts them back on top. Well, wow, you talk about a clutch kick. Good job by the snapper and the holder. The kicker gives them the lead. But remember, this one is certainly a long way from being over here in the fourth. So after coming away with three in that drive, the kickoff team is out. Fielded in the end zone. It's Joseph. Tackled at the 14. Not very good field position to start here. And the Miami offense is back on the field. Let's see if they can keep that passing game going. The last position, very efficient and precise. On first down, it's play action. Looking to throw it deep. Deep ball is caught for a huge gain here. Potentially a touchdown saving tackle, but not before a long completion. Boy, just a great job by this quarterback of being able to put this ball up into the air to give his receiver a chance to time that up perfectly for a huge gain for the offense. Fresh set of downs for the offense. First down. Dropping back. It's Ward. Brought down quickly, but not before a big game. Give it to the 35. It's an excellent throw by the quarterback, finding that window between the zones and delivering the ball on time. High completion good for a first down. The offense working with a new set of downs here. There's the snap. Looking to throw the ball. That's caught. It's little. And he will be stuffed for no gain. Well, this is exactly what you want to see from the defense. Yeah, you give up the catch, but you're right there to be able to stop this receiver from making any yards after the catch. Second down play coming up. Here's the snap. Quarterback drops back. Snags a quick throw. Oh, and he's in the clear now. It's a foot race. Touchdown, Kings. They jump in front here in the fourth. I think the quarterback does a great job of looking through all of his progressions. Nobody's there. He finds the back out of the backfield. Nobody picks him up. He's able to catch the ball and then find his way into the end zone. So they'll try to add to the lead now with a PAT. PAT up and good. The lead is four here in the final quarter. Kickoff team is on the field to boot this one away. Return starts from inside the five. And he's tackled at the 21. That's where the drive will start. And the Seminoles' offense comes back on the field. They settled for a field goal in the last possession. They're looking for the end zone, no doubt, here. 
Scanning the field. It's Uyangala Lane. Locates the tight end. It's complete. They make the tackle, but that pass creates a solid game. Well, that's pretty good coverage here by this defense. Not much of a window to throw this ball into, but the quarterback's accuracy and the size of the tight end picks up a nice game. Second down after that completion. Here's the snap, looking to throw. Grab near the sticks. It's Benson. Brought down at the 33. That's good enough to move the sticks. This guy's been such a big factor in this game. Already a couple touchdowns. Now they need the first down. They dial him up again, and he delivers. You set it down to the offense. First and ten. Quarterback looking to connect with the receiver here. But they don't make the connection. That one is incomplete. Yeah, I'm surprised he dropped the ball here. This tight end is known for his hands. The ball is put on the money. Somehow it just goes through his arms. Offense getting set up. Here's second down. Looking to throw yet again. Let's it fly out of the wide out. Makes the catch downfield. And the game just good enough for a first down. Man, this wide receiver has been a difference maker in this football game. He's got two touchdowns already. Now they look to him again, and he picks up the first down. First down here. Time for one more play before the clock stops for the two-minute warning. And we've reached the two-minute warning as this offense tries to steal a late-game comeback victory. And the Knowles are looking to keep this drive going. Dropping back. It's Wiangala Light. Catch made across the middle by the running back. Really solid first down gain. He's just short of the marker, so maybe a chance here to take a downfield shot. Chris, I love to see this. Nothing open downfield, so he does the right thing by checking it down to his back, who's dangerous in the open field, picks up some really good yards, but that clock is still a big factor here. Quarterback wants to throw it on second down. Caught near the sticks. It's Morlock. And the offense will wisely spend a timeout after the play. Clock management's going to be very important here in the final minutes. The Knowles with first and ten here. And with nobody open, he turns it to just throw it away. Quarterback drops back, looking for an open man. And he's got it. They bring him down, but that's a solid gain on the play. Tackle made, but a strong arm throw by the senior quarterback. Well, I'll tell you what. This guy's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. And here we are, late in the game. He needs to continue to play with that consistency. And that's a great example that he's up to. And the Seminoles are in the red zone. Here comes a first down pass attempt. Touchdown, Knowles. They have jumped in front in the final minute. That is just an outstanding job by this quarterback with the game on the line. He finds the matchup with his go-to receiver, makes a perfect throw here to the receiver, and they score late to take the lead. Now the important PAT to make it a three-point lead. Kick is up and good. They go up by three here in the fourth quarter. Can they hang on? Here's the kickoff team now. Set to boot this one away. He's going to return it from near the goal line. And they stop at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. And here comes the Miami offense back out on the field. So here we go. It could come down to this possession, Kirk. 
Sets up as a potential classic finish. Well, Chris, after everything that's gone on in this field in a rivalry game, if you're a quarterback, this is what you dream about. Having the ball in your hands with a chance to lead your team down and potentially win this game. Second down after that previous play. To throw, it's Ward. Quick throw to his receiver. Finds a man downfield. That's a big game to the right. And the coach quickly calls timeout after the play, trying to hold on to as much time as possible. They need to score quickly here, trying to dial up some big plays. First down, looking to throw the football. Caught over the middle. It's Arroyo. And a quick timeout call by the offense after the play, trying to preserve as much clock as possible. Offense getting set here, needing some big plays to get into field goal range. The clock winding down. The pocket breaking down. Can't get it away. The defense has got him. What a huge stop at this stage of the game. Well, the quarterback makes a mistake here. That's football 101. Once you get outside of the pocket, you've got to get rid of the football in this situation and not take the sack, especially in the fourth quarter. They'll have to hurry now. Second down with the clock ticking. They come up and quickly spike it, stopping the clock. Brings up third down. Now the offense here needs some big plays to give the kicker a chance here. The clock is a factor. And he'll drop back here on third down. Grab down the middle. It's Martinez. The defense stops him short of the marker, so it's fourth down coming up. Man, give the defense a lot of credit. You're taking away the elite receiver. That primary target forces the quarterback to find a second or third option. He gets positive yards. But anytime you can take away the big play late in the game, it's going to help you be able to secure victory. And now a timeout is taken with just five timeout. seconds remaining. So here we go. Down one score. They're going to go for it on fourth down. Looking to throw for the first down. Final minutes here. They'll throw it deep downfield. The catch is made for a huge pickup. Touchdown for the U. They go in front here in the second half. We took out our reaching back and showing the arm strength even if they're that time. Yeah, they actually work on this, believe it or not, in practice. Every receiver has a position to be in, whether it's the front or the back or in the middle. Then you just hope for maybe a tip ball that goes up into the air and somebody comes down with it. How about that? A touchdown.